Pastor Taylor here, Christ P. Walkie. Nice to have this devotional time with you on the Epiphany. Yes, we've had the 12 days of Christmas, and now it is the Epiphany. It is our Christmas. It's the Gentile Christmas. Jesus is not just the Savior of the Jews and their King. He is our Savior and our King, too. And, and so we go to that familiar account of the wise men, those Gentile wise men who visit the Savior, too. And I want you to notice three things as we talk about the Gentile Christmas and the visit of the wise men, that they were filled with joy, filled with humility, and filled with generosity. Yes, they were filled with joy. And you can't blame them after a long journey that they had been, uh, that they had been on to visit Jesus, that they would be filled with joy. But it wasn't necessarily after they, they met Jesus for the first time. They got all the way to Jerusalem, but the star had left them. And then they found Jesus, first of all, in his word. And they were filled with exceedingly great joy to find Jesus in his word. And then they found him in the manger at Bethlehem. Yes, they were filled with joy. And we can be filled with joy, too, as we find Jesus in his word today. And I know that that joy of Christmas may be gone for all or most of you. That shot in the arm of joy that we received the month of December, well, that's maybe just a distant memory now that we're in January. But that joy of, and that joy that Jesus brings is ours every day, every day. And we're also filled with humility like the wise men. Yes, when they finally got to Jesus, they didn't recount their trip to the family. It wasn't a time to relax. It was a time to finally worship. They worshiped and they bowed down low. And that humility wasn't just seen in the fact that they worshiped Jesus, these wise, educated, learned men worshiping a little baby, but they bowed down low too. Their, their, external, uh, their external bowing reflected something that was on their hearts, and that was humility and repentance, recognizing uh, themselves as sinners. And when you're around a Savior, you bow down low in repentance and recognize who you are, and more importantly, who He is. And we do that too. We begin each worship service with a confession of our sins, recognizing who we are, but also latching on to who Jesus is as our Savior in humble worship. And then you see this generosity. Oftentimes, uh, when we make a huge expenditure of resources, of time, of money to get to a certain place, sometimes if that certain place requires us to give a gift, we say, well, our gift is our presence. If it was a huge expenditure to get to a wedding, we say, well, we don't have a wedding gift because we're here. The wise men could have said the same thing. We're here. This is our present, but they offer generous gifts. And, and you notice it's gifts. They had gifts to give to Jesus. Offerings. No one forced them. No one twisted their arm and said, you better give. No, they gave out of their hearts of love and thankfulness to their Savior. And, and so do we. Well beyond Christmas well beyond the end of a new year to get in uh, our last gift before 2021, but 2022 still, still is an outpouring of gifts because Jesus hasn't stopped giving to us. Yes, Merry Christmas today on this epiphany as we consider the Gentile Christmas, our Christmas for Jesus is our Savior. A lesson now from Matthew chapter 2 beginning at verse 1. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed in all Jerusalem with him. When he called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem in Judea, they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah. For out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way. 
and the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And on coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to Herod, they returned to their country by another route. And that was the word of the Lord. May the Lord richly bless the rest of your day.